Hell Yeah on your web rock station on Vinyl Times, the classic rock radio en direct avec nous ce soir, Mr. Anders Wikström of Treat. Hi Anders, nice to meet you. Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> hey, nice. nice to meet you too. Yeah, yeah hi uh, Anders, I'm very happy for talking to you on air tonight. Ok, ils sont en direct avec nous ce soir, Mr. Anders et Wikström, le guitar player, compositeur, arrangeur, fondateur du groupe Treat. Je vous dis, hein, Treat en Suède, c'est The Legend, quoi. C'est la longue carrière, c'est une énorme carrière avec beaucoup d'albums, beaucoup de choses à dire ce soir. En tout cas, 213 Rock Mini Times, le classic rock radio. On va aller quand même droit à l'essentiel parce qu'il y a quand même un nouvel album qui s'appelle The End Game et qui est énorme, qui est disponible hein, depuis le 8 avril dernier, qui est sorti via le label Frontier The Records. C'est le neuvième album hein, du groupe, donc je rappelle, il s'intitule The Endgame. So, Anders, welcome tonight on 213 Rock, Web Rock Station, Vinyl Times, Classic Rock Radio. As you know, we are located in Paris, France, and thank you very much uh, for sharing us some uh, of your time, of course, tonight, and accepting my invitation. Well, thanks for having me. I mean, always great to, to talk with some nice French people. You know, I really miss Paris. It was a lot, long time ago. Okay. <laughs> Effectivement que Paris lui manque hein, depuis très longtemps. So on there, sir, new album, The Endgame, was one of the most expected album for this year by all fans of melodic rock plus media specialized in our and hard rock music. Yeah, you sound really dramatic. <laughs> yeah, hopefully... You know, after the two years we've been going through, this was a really, really good period for us to write and to concentrate on the creative side. And uh, I'm really, really thankful for, for the great reception we've been giving for the record. I mean, the album, it's, it seems like everywhere, from everywhere, people are like contacting us about how, how much they like it. So it's not, I mean, we're really... We're really overwhelmed. Effectivement que l'album était très très attendu en tout cas ce nouvel album des Treat hein, euh, par la presse déjà vraiment spécialisée et en même temps aussi par euh, par tous les fans du groupe hein, qui étaient totalement impatients ils ont profité de ces deux années effectivement de, de Covid etc de, de Coffee Month Lockdown comme vous voudrez ils ont ils ont vraiment peaufiné ce disque ils sont allés en profondeur en termes d'enregistrement on va développer tout ça hein, et tous les fans étaient vraiment patients hein. and all your fans were eager about the new album uh, The Endgame of Treat. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, um, we were we were supposed to start to work on the album in late 2019. And we started work already then, but things came, you know, and stopped everything for everybody. So uh, what we did is that we kept working on the record and wrote more songs than ever. And, uh, you know... For us, it's not it's not a natural thing. It's a natural thing to write music for me. But it's as a, as you've been going on for a long time as a band, you really hope that you can live up to the expectations of the audience. Effect still. Effectivement, que c'était très important pour eux euh, déjà pour cet album parce qu'à la base, il devait il devait être réalisé en 2019 lorsque tout est arrêté, tout s'est arrêté. Donc ils ont ils ont composé plus de titres, ils ont tout revu, ils ont tout révisé, ils ont fait euh, tout était naturel chez eux. Hein, effectivement, les titres de nouveaux titres sont apparus, de nouvelles idées. Donc ils ont travailler en profondeur durant ce confinement, etc. Donc vous connaissez l'histoire, parce que car tous les groupes ont profité de ce moment de, 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 de confinement pour approfondir leur disque, leur musique, etc. pour arriver à quelque chose de très très fort. Quoi. And Anders, I guess, during the recording sessions, in your studio, you had to feel a very, a very positive feeling. Huh? And at that time, you knew you had a very strong tracks in your mind yeah yeah yeah. i mean we we were we were kind of uh we we recorded the album in two different uh stages so to speak we started in uh, november of 2020 and then we did half the album we recorded like six of the songs uh, and then we waited and made them finished and then we did the rest of the album uh in the uh, in the summer and the spring in the summer of 2021 And we actually did it the old fashioned way this time. We recorded it in a, like a big studio together. We went in there like we used in the old days and just to keep the, the motivation of the band together like uh, like we did, you know, when we started. You know, it's, it was very much a very honest way of recording an album this time. And I think it can be heard. You can hear it on the record. 
Ouais, effectivement, qu'on le sent dans ce disque, hein, ils ont gardé cette motivation énorme. En même temps, ils ont composé un hein, six titres durant la moitié de l'année jusqu'à à peu près novembre 2020. Les autres six titres sont arrivés entre le printemps et l'été 2021. Donc je disais, hein, ils ont gardé cette, motiva cette motivation. Ils ont la flamme en tout cas. Hein, et puis cet album, qu'est-ce qu'il est bon en tout cas. Il est vraiment très très bon. Et de nombreux passages hein, que vous avez euh, pu entendre au sein de 213 Rock, ainsi que la programmation H24, Vinny Times, Classic Rock Radio, et ainsi que dans l'émission Last Ride by le Doc Olivier. So Wonders on February First, your label Frontiers Music released the first single, Home of the Brave, which will um, very soon reach 200,000 views, very soon. And the feedback from your fans around the world is excellent. Yeah, we, we, the thing is, what, um, Home of the Brave is a, it was my first favorite song of the album, and everybody could actually could agree on it being the first single. And uh, it's a very typical treat song, which has the, the trademarks from, from, from the band melodically. And... Uh, uh, As, as we feel that the whole album is very strong from the beginning to end, uh, we really didn't want to put any fillers in, a, in, in the song fillers. But Home of the Brain is a really good start to show the people what, what the true treat sound is. Mm -hmm. so. Effectivement, c'est très typique uh, treat, hein, comme il le dit, comme song, uh, comme chanson, hein, uh, Home of the Brave. And uh, Anders, I love the Celtic side of the track because uh, Robert, uh, Robert's, um, Robert's uh, voices is huge. I can imagine that on stage your fans sing too. It's only happiness. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we haven't played so many shows yet, but the shows we have played, the song has been an instant favorite already. So mm. uh, it, it's, it's really, it's really going to go down. I mean, as, as time goes by, and we get to tour more and, and, and try it in different countries. I, I'm really eager to see the, the reactions. The new songs have been going down very well so far in, in the shows we've been doing. And... Uh, Yeah, it, it feels like it fits right in there. And the old, the kind of Celtic style you talked about. Uh, well, it, it's kind of a tradition for us. We, I mean, we have the, the folk music uh, uh, influences here. I have it in the fam my family. My granddad was a viol played violin in the folk music way, way back. So it's kind of in my blood in a way. <laughs> Effectivement que le côté celtique c'est dans son sang hein, notamment puisque son grand-père euh, jouait du violon donc c'est effectivement le côté celtique c'est aussi ça appartient donc c'est dans c'est dentrite hein, effectivement quoi. And I said the feedback from your fans around the world is excellent. Uh, um, here are some, some few examples. Hein. Uh, the first said sound killer, marvelous melodies and the chord progressions, fantastic production, directly. <laughs> Another one, yeah, another one said, always good, always fresh, always melodic, never disappoint. Long live to treat. Oh, yeah. yeah. And another one said, the guys I find so wider, the songs is amazing, awesome video. Oh, yeah, from Home of the Brave. Total, yeah. total loyal fans. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's fantastic to hear. I mean, it's, it's for them. We, we make music for our fans as well as for ourselves, yes. But... Uh, I mean, to have a loyal fan base like that is amazing. I mean, it's amazing. Effectivement, qu'ils ont des purs fans, hein. c'est c'est incroyable pour eux, quoi. And uh, on the last March 15, the track Carolina Reaper was chosen by uh, your label to be your second single, Cal because Carolina Reaper is a six track. Wow, the singing is ultra melodic. The choruses are very catchy. It's blood for blood of threat. Yeah, it's a, it's a great song. It reminds me all of, of of the older days of the band, and it, that kind that's even if it, it's it, even if it's it's kind of late coming in the album as a, a in the in the track edit and the editing list of the album. It's it's a uh, it's a great song, and we actually tried it live, and it works fantastic. I mean, it's really really a song for for the live stage and and. Uh, And for the shows, uh, so it kind of reminds me of the early days of Tree, and it's it's great. Effectivement, que le titre Carolina Reaper, ça lui rappelle aussi les débuts du groupe, hein, genre l'album euh, Scratch and Sniff ou alors à l'époque Dream Hunter. Et en même temps, euh, ça c'était vraiment c'est du Tree, hein. En plus le titre, donc ça lui rappelle le passé et c'est super de jouer en live. Le peu qu'ils ont qu'ils ont déjà testé, les, ils ont déjà eu un concert. Hein, le peu qu'ils ont testé déjà, les retours sont excellents, quoi. Ça c'est vraiment génial, quoi. And on the last April 8, Freudian Sleep. Uh, this track offers a big dynamic sound with a clarity of all instruments. It's very strong. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're talking about the last single. <laughs> yeah, Freudian Sleep. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean the song. The song is a great. It's a, it's a great song. I mean, everybody liked it as an opening track because it's also very much a, a kind of a, a, a mix between a modern way, a modern treat, and a, the old fashioned treat mm -hmm. in in a good way. I think the whole album is very much a very like a marriage between treat of the old and treat of the modern era. And uh, for us, it, it, the production has all, has all always been very important. But on this album, we worked very hard together with our producer, Peter Manson, to to get the sound to feel natural, but big and everybody and everything should be heard. And I, I think we succeeded very much on this record. Effectivement que Peter Manson a fait un travail de dingue hein, concernant la production de cet album qui est euh, vraiment énorme. Hein. Il a aussi euh, jusqu'au mixing en tout cas, il a fait le mix et tout et il a fait un, un gros boulot. Hein. Ça, ça, ils ont gardé ce côté aussi de très moderne en mélangeant le passé, les, 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 les 90s et en même temps tous tout, tout ces côtés 2000 en tout cas. Ils ont réussi à garder toute cette atmosphère et c'est ça qui est important. Ils ont gardé cette atmosphère de treat. Ils l'ont réussi, ils l'ont posé, il l'a posé un hein, Peter Manson en tout cas sur cet album quoi. And the new album is um, is also back in the game of your best player, Mr. Nelly Parson, who play in the yeah. album Coup de Grasse. He's back in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were really happy that he's back in the band. I mean, uh, no uh, no shadow on Pontus, who used to play before him. He was a great player as well, and he's a great friend as well. But, you know, when Nelly came back to the ranks, he, he chose to... to, uh, to, to um, jump from the band in 2011 and uh, this this uh, I know we've been very close friends for mainly our grown-up life I mean I known him since way 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 back oh. and uh, we we're great we we're best friends son and, and together when we play together on stage he's just a he's just a natural force that kind of he that's he he's he's belongs in tree Effectivement que le retour, hein, le back in the game à la basse hein, dans le groupe depuis Coup de Grâce a sorti donc 2011. Enfin l'album est sorti en 2010. À l'époque Nalé avait euh, Nalé Palson, le bassiste du groupe, avait quitté le groupe en 2011. Mais ils ont gardé cette force naturelle. Hein, ils sont restés très très proches. Hein, Anders et Nalé, ils sont restés très proches, très amis. Et c'est avec un grand plaisir qu'il est revenu donc dans le groupe pour l'enregistrement et en même temps et toute la partie live qui va suivre hein, concernant le tweet et le The Endgame et l'album et la tournée qui vont arriver en tout cas c'est juste énorme ça c'est fantastique comme il l'a dit c'est natural force c'est une force naturelle quoi and um, next September 17 on there's a completely crazy program with heat and eclipse in gavel what a date <laughs> yeah I mean, we, 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 we always try to get some dates together with bands like that we've been talking we, we were actually talking about get, trying to get more dates together as a oh yeah. yeah that's a great package that's really really strong package if you if you ask me and we've been trying together with them i mean we played with all with these those two bands a lot before but not together as a three band package but uh i this is going to be a fantastic night it's this it, it can't be missed can't be missed for the fans up here at least and and so it's just, it's a great package if i love both bands so Effectivement, le 17 septembre prochain, du côté du nord de la Suède, hein, une ville qui s'appelle Gavel, il y aura Hit, il y aura effectivement Eclipse et Treat en concert. Ça va être énorme. Ils ont, ça fait très longtemps qu'ils essayent de faire un truc ensemble. La date, elle a été trouvée. Ça va être énorme. Il invite tous les fans à venir parce que ça va être une énorme nuit en tout cas. Ça va être une programmation fantastique. Hein. L'idée, elle est excellente. Hein. And maybe an opportunity to have a European tour with these bands. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, let's dream about it. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, that should that should be something extra. I mean, that should be something to for people to see. I mean, I I, I would love the idea. I would love the idea. Okay. I'm up for it. You know, if, if ever, ever everybody's up. But you know, as, as things like that goes, uh, we have to take it one step at a time. <laughs> Effectivement, qu'il aimerait, il aimerait venir en tout cas. Il aimerait partir en tournée avec ces deux groupes. Hein, Hit Eclipse. Imaginez la tournée. C'est la tournée du siècle. Hein, je vous le dis tout de suite. C'est la tournée du siècle avec tous les Grammy Awards hein, direct hein. Grammy Awards for uh, Heat Eclipse and uh, Treat for e if uh, that tour is coming man <laughs> hey we cross our fingers for that
Yeah, yeah, let's cross our fingers. Yeah. It would be great. Okay. Be great. So, Anders, thank you very much for this live interview. Just before the end, I remember I was uh, in a high school. Uh, I had uh, the Dream album, the Dream Hunter album on my Walkman. It was in 1997, 1987, 1988, uh -huh. I think something like that. On my, on, on my headphone, uh, do you think ever play the track Soul Survivor one day in your track listing? If I would play the song? Yes, it's the Soul Survivor. I love Soul Survivor. Make yeah, 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 that's a great song. We play it. We, I mean, it's actually we we do re we did rehearse it for this to to go to be included in the coming tours. Yeah. Okay. So the song is very much. Uh, it, it's we we haven't we have we have been playing it for years and years and years. So it's it's a it's a great song. A lot of people seem to have it as a favorite track from that record as well. Mm -hmm. Even though the, the album includes like songs like World of Promises, which is a very huge song for us. Um, uh, Soul Survivor is a dear friend. <laughs> it's a dear friend. It, it's not forgotten in any in any, any way. 213 Rock with Eric Melodica on Vinyl Stein's Classic Rock Radio.